into the middle for Corey Mackey with speed. Gains the Prince George line, spin move, back into the goal, stopped by Jake, rebound lying in front, and it's taken away. Back to the way is Mackin. 100 seconds remaining in the second period. Mackin with Santucci coming late. Mackin on the right wing, spin move, to the goal, he shoots, he scores! by Mackin doing it himself and the express lead to the one. He'll dish it on the right wing. Here's Staley, wrist shot, he's leveled, cutting across the middle by Mackin as the puck bounces in on goal. And Long stretch pass picked off by Rasevich. Stopping it off for Mackin in the slot. Wrist shot, scores! On the turnover, Corey Mackin makes the Warriors pay. Maycellus, lead pass picked off by Mackin off the bench. One on one against Campion. Mackin fires, tight at the same rebound, scores! <laughs> Corey Mackin got his own rebound, and the Express have the one to nothing lead six minutes into the first period. Now fed back to the line to Fritz. Two cent Tucci with room, looks, snaps his shot, blocks on the way through by Zelesna Carr, and that hurt him. Now Mackin with a chance, he scores! And the Express have restored their lead is to the one. Brendan Lamont for Brett Sapinski. Now in the middle for Mackin. Wrist shot. Scores! It's a hat trick for Corey Mackin. And the Express have tied the game at three. With Lamont. Sapinski in the Langley zone. Trying to dance in on Zito. Now fires a backhand shot and Martin got a pad down on that. Now center for Mackin with a shot, save rebound, score! Quick response to the Express, Corey Mackin banging home the rebound. And just like that, the Express have tied it. Here's Mackin in the Langley zone with Sapinski. There's the pass, back to Mackin! One timer off the side of the goal. Heals it just a little bit. Now Sapinski, driving it off, Lamont centers, Mackin scores! The seesaw has swung back in the Express' favor. Corey Mackin with his second of the game. And the Express have the lead again, it's 6-5. Gage Terrell, lost it to Mackin, shoots, scores! Corey Mackin completes his hat trick by putting it into the empty net. It's 7-5 Express with 100 ticks left on the clock. Had it poked off his stick by Mackin, and a breakout with Cressy 4 1. Now a defender foul. Mackin with a breakaway. Scores! <laughs> First short handed goal for the Express this season. Corey Mackin on the breakaway is giving the Express their first lead of the night. It's 3 2. Now Lamont to turn it the other way and fire it up to Mackin. Sadu joining the rush. Mackin on the right wing. Does the spin around, but fires it back in, he scores! <laughs> He's done it again! The Corey Mackin spin around, pops the water bottle! You're gonna wanna see that one on the highlights! 4 to Express lead! Battle there with Anselmo, who comes up with the puck. He'll flip it up ahead. Mackin trying to tip it forward, and he'll dance in on the right wing with Santucci. Mackin cuts in the slot, wrist shot, scores! There's number 19 for the BCHL goal scoring leader as Corey Mackin ties it at one. Cave up the wing to Lamont. Nice lead feed for Sapinski with Mackin who takes the pass. Mackin looks, wrist shot, scores! Number 20 for Corey Mackin, his second of the game, and it's a 2-2 tie. Puck flipped into the express zone. Cave up the right wing to Lamont. He has room to skate out. And plays across ice to Mackin. Fires it at the open net. Hat trick. Third hat 
trick of the season for Corey Mackin. It's a 5-3 Express game with 104 remaining in the third period. Killing time in this penalty to DeHarnay. And the Express now come up with the puck. Sitting pass, Mackin scores! There's number 23 in the season for the BCHL scoring leader. Corey Mackin makes it a 4-3 game with 10.37 to go. Off the draw. Puck flipped off the glass, doesn't get out. Now it comes to Mackin. He'll skate it to center, fired at the empty net, and scores! Short-handed goal for Corey Mackin. It's a 3-1 express lead with 2.03 to go. Ty, setting up behind the goal to Fritz, but he lost it in his skates and came in front, but fortunately nobody there for Surrey. It chipped it into the open cage. Now Mackin in the Surrey zone, short-handed, he scores! Point number 100 in the BCHL for Corey Mackin is his fifth short-handed goal of the season in the Express have a 2-1 lead. Mackin dancing in the middle, wrist shot, he snapped it high and wide. Now Lamont turns, throws it from Mackin, scores! Great pass by Lamont to Mackin and the game is tied at two. Lamont to Zipinski the dot, back to Lamont. Lamont, back to pass, Mackin scores! Another great setup by Lamont to Mackin, his 30th of the year. Powerfully goal on the Express, but back within one is 4-3. 15 seconds remaining in the penalty to Bevan. 120 remaining in the third period, 4-3 Express leading. Keats in his own zone. Gave it away, Mackin with an empty net, scores! Perfect time to end the goal is dropped for Corey Mackin, number 38 of the season, gives the Express a 5-3 lead with a short-handed empty net goal. Bevan, nice lead feed to Brendan Lamont, into the middle for Sapinski, now to Mackin in the trail zone, Mackin, Sapinski, Back to Mackin, off his skate in front, Lamont jamming at it, Mackin scores! There's number 40 for Corey Mackin, and the Express lead, 3-0. Cleared the line, but they can't get it out. Now Sadu to Mackin, closing in, free shot, scores! Shot for Corey Mackin for his second of the game with one second remaining on the power play. It's 5 0. 10 seconds remaining on the power play. Mackin with his shot, he scores! <laughs> Number 42 in the season for Corey Mackin, short side on the power play, and the express lead 1 0. Here's Mackin cutting into the story zone. Mackin cutting it on goal, he scores! with his second of the game. This one is also short-handed. This is a new Express record for most short-handed goals this season by a player. His eighth is now 5-2 Express. But he gave it away. Here's Mackin with a breakaway from his own line. Corey Mackin! Stop by Jacobson. Now it's tip to Sapinski. He'll slide it up for Mackin in the Chilliwack zone. Back to Sapinski, cutting in. Sapinski centers, Mackin scores! Great little give and go between Sapinski and Mackin, and the BCHL scoring leader has tied the game of two. Coltura, bouncing it off the glass, and they'll slide down to the Bulldog zone. Here's Mackin, trying to cut him and go back in, scores! There, Mackin found some time and space, and he slides it home to get the Express on the board, it's to the one.